This video is about McConkie's agar, a specialized bacterial growth medium. This piece provides photos and interpretations of various types of bacterial growth on McConkie's. You can see in contrast to the previous picture where we had gram-negative lactose fermenters growing and the plate looked bright pink, this plate has non-lactose fermenters, gram-negative non-lactose fermenters, which are growing in colorless colonies. You can see that the medium itself is kind of this dingy color now. This happens once you incubate the McConkies. Here's the nice, cheerful, soft pink color it starts out as. So if there's no growth on the McConkies after incubation or if there is non-lactose fermenting growth, you'll get this dingy color to the medium itself. This has nothing to do with the differential reaction. We're looking at the bacteria to change color for that. This color change in the medium just is a product of time. On this plate, you can see a gram-negative colony of lactose fermenters. It's the pink colony with the irregular edges directly beneath the word McConkie. The other colonies that you see on the plate are colorless. Those are gram-negative non-lactose fermenters, a nice side-by-side -side comparison. Here's the result of an interesting experiment that we do in the laboratory section of the Applied Microbiology course I teach. Students bring home sterile plates of TSY, a plate of triptych soy agar, TSY, which is a general all-purpose medium, and they bring home a sterile plate of McConkie's. At home, they then obtain samples, uh, bacterial samples from different areas of their home, pictured here our samples from the kitchen sink. The sample placed on TSY is growing a wide variety of microbes since that medium is not selective. McConkie's behind it is selective. We see fewer colonies on the McConkie's because only gram-negative will grow and those colonies are lactose fermenters. Students also obtain samples from their bathroom counter and bathroom sink. Those are the two quadrants that are not pictured here. And students are often surprised by the result of this experiment because they expect to find more gram-negative enteric lactose fermenting bacteria in the bathroom than they do in the kitchen, but that's typically not the case. The kitchen has so many gram negatives in it because of the food that we process there, meat in particular, but it can also come from vegetables and fruits. More seriously nerdy, amazing free stuff at scienceprofonline.com.